guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Tamala if you like the video and you like what you see then be sure to stick around and subscribe for new videos we would love to have y'all join a part of our little family and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video today I'm going to be sharing another idea and co unboxing with you guys so if y'all are interested then just keep watching first things first so if you've never heard of D&Co and what they do, they're basically just like a regular um, styling subscription service, except for they cater to plus size ladies, which I really like because I feel like they just carry better brands because their brands are a lot of the times made specifically for plus size bodies. And you guys know how that goes. It's just, it's like a different fit. It's like a whole different experience, but they send you like the box. Obviously it's really nicely packed. It has, you know, the tissue paper and everything. And inside of it, you will get a paper that has all of your um, different pieces on it and ideas to style them as well as you get the bag to return everything in It's just like a regular poly mailer. It's prepaid. It has the label on it and you pay for what you keep and then whatever you don't want You send back and you're not charged for it So it's a really awesome service like for me if I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and you can link your Instagram or your Pinterest or whatever you can link a lot of different social sites to give your stylist like an idea I did not mean to put quotes around stylists like they are stylists but um I say that because they're not like actual like in front of you but to give them an idea of what your style is and what you like and you can also choose the price ranges so say I don't remember exactly how they are but when you go on there you take like a style quiz and there's also pricing in there so like for jeans would you rather pay I think maybe less than 20 20 to 50 50 and above like some kind some kind of a range like that like they'll only send you stuff in the price ranges that you generally want to see there's also a $20 styling fee when you purchase the box and that kind of pays for the stylist and everything that they do but it is then used as a credit on your box so anything that you buy $20 will be taken off which is why I kind of suggest if there is something that you like you kind of get it because if you don't use that $20 credit then you lose it so it's always better to use it than lose it and if you like everything in your box and you want to purchase every single thing then there is a big discount I don't remember the exact percentages or anything but there is a pretty big chunk of a discount taken out if you decide to get everything in your box this is also not sponsored by Dianco. I actually just really like their service. Buy with my own money. I get it every once in a while. It's a great way to shake up your style, get out of the box, both literally and figuratively. And I feel like I've been talking a long time now, so we're just gonna get into everything in here. So here's our first piece. Just a basic seat. Now, mm, mm. now I love it. I do love basics, and I'm pretty sure that I put that in my profile. Like, your girl loves basics. I mean, maybe not in those words. But this is the, what would they call this? I guess it's the Carly Lattice Tee, and it's $25, not a bad price, and I just don't, like, I like it if it didn't have that ruching right there. I don't know what it is, but I've never been a big fan of, like, ruching on the front of a t-shirt like that, but I will try it on. At the end, there's going to be a try on of me, obviously, <laughs> trying on everything that I got in the box, but this is the first one. The quality is really good. It's really soft and stretchy, but I just know right off the bat, I tip typically, you know, maybe this will be the time that it changes. But I typically don't like when there's that like pleating or kind of ruching in the front like that. This is the next piece. I'm already loving the color. And this is, I don't know what this is. Is this a sweater dress? I think it is. This is the brand Sandra Darren. This is the Amber Cowneck sweater dress. Um, it's in 2X and it's $69. And here's what it looks like. It has a pretty pattern on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. There's a pretty pattern on the top. This looks like it could be a good fit because it's not like the typical sweater dress. This material is not just sweatery. I mean, like it looks nice, but I mean, I feel like this is gonna be really like a good fit. Here's the next piece. Not a huge fan of um, this purpley color, I will say. But this is the brand Prescott, New York. So I'm looking at, there's a paper down here that has the brand name, the name of the style, and um, the size and the price. If you guys were wondering what I'm looking at, that's what I'm looking at. Um, the Kiki Drawstring Cardigan, and it's in a 3X, and it's $32. This is kind of cute. I mean, I like this. I don't mind the style of it, but I think it's just the color. Like, this is, I don't know. I, this this is why I like the box though. I would have never picked something up off the rack when this in this color, but maybe I'll put it on and I'll love it. That's something like I said I like. It kind of gets you out of your comfort zone, but it does have, I guess a drawstring on here somewhere. Yes, in the front, there is a drawstring. But you guys see that in the trial. I'm already loving this. I don't know what the style is, but let me tell you, I love the color gray and I love a good stripe. Um, this is again that Molly and Isadora brand. Um, this is the Stacy Split Back T, and it's a 3x and $35 oh this is cute okay okay no I love this this is cute so it's like a little three-quarter length t 
t-shirt. It's got the pocket on it. And then it has a little keyhole detail on the back, but it also has a little split going down the bottom just a little bit. This is cute. I like this. And it's super soft. I don't know what fabric this is. Which the other shirt was too, so I'm gonna have to look into the brand Molly and it's Adora. That is what got me into Lane Bryant's activewear because I had something in my box from them the last time because they do have like a regular style box and also an active style box. And I realized that I love their activewear and so I started buying their activewear. So it's really good to discover new brands, but oh, this is nice. It's like a, a gray, like a heather kind of a gray and a cream color. And this is the last thing that was in my box. It's a pair of jeans. This again is the Molly and Isadora brand, which I believe, do not quote me, but I believe you can tell your, you can, I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can message your stylist and be like, hey, I really love this Molly and Isadora brand. When you send my next box, definitely include some stuff from that brand. Like you can tell them if there's a brand you like the quality or the styles of, um, so they can send them to you. But it's a pair of jeans, I will say. I'm very particular about my jeans. Very particular, very picky. I love my American Eagle jeans. But I always give them a try. I usually don't like anything other than that, but I'll give them a try. They're a pretty true blue color. They are skinny at the ankle. They do feel like they have, oh yeah, they have like pretty good stretch to them. And these are, the jeans are 65. These are the Leroy Skinny Jean. And they're $65. They do have a really good stretch. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the color. It's almost that like bright blue color, if you guys can tell, which is not my favorite, but definitely give these a try and see what the fit is like. So that is everything in the box. And what the discount is, is a 25% discount. So if you're going to buy everything in your box, you get a 25% discount. So everything in my box, it was $226. If I wanted to buy everything, I get that 25% off. Plus I get my $20 styling fee back. So it would only be $149.50 just to kind of give you an idea how all that shakes out. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the try on portion and kind of show you guys the fit and everything and how it looks. So here is the first outfit and I definitely have to say the shirt is a favorite. I'm definitely keeping it stepping over here to look in the mirror it is like very figure flattering i think because of the split that's back here in the bottom this kind of just flares out just a tad and i just feel like it makes it look so much more flattering it is a super super soft material it's a little bit more like of a thin burnout style of a top but it is so so soft i like the sleeve length i think it's perfect for kind of the fall going into the winter and then here's what it looks like in the back so you can kind of see that detail where it peeks out and i don't think that i've ever seen something like that that just has a small split on the bottom to where it's not like exposing your back or anything but it's just kind of creating this really flattering draping kind of look so i really love this like i said definitely keeping it um, here is how the jeans are fitting. They do look to be pretty smoothing. They have that whiskering detail on it, which I like. I have to <laughs> step over here to look in the mirror so I can tell you guys. Um, they do fit. They are a little more tapered at the ankle, which I like. Um, they are a pretty good length. Here's how those look. I, I like them. They're a little bit on the thinner side, so a little bit more of a jegging material as opposed to like a true jean. So if that's your thing, go for it. I do tend to like my jeans just a little bit on the thicker side so i don't know if these are necessarily something that i'm going to keep but so far they actually do have a good fit which i was kind of worried about and here is the next top again not my favorite like it's not a bad top it's just not personally my style so it does have that ruching right there like i said which can be cute on some people if that's your thing i just have never really liked it, it has always deterred me from buying a shirt if it has that i don't know why it's just like one of those fashion pet peeves that I have. And I feel like the sleeves are a little bit of an awkward length because they're not quite three quarter. They're just kind of come a little bit past the bend of my elbow. So I found that to be a little bit weird. And it is a little bit um, on the shorter side, you guys can tell. Not super short, but definitely um, on the shorter side. And here's what we look like in the back. So not a bad shirt, but definitely just not my style. So this one will definitely be going back. Here is our cardigan. Again, not my style and definitely not my color. The color on this, like, I don't know, this really deep purple is just, I don't like, I like some shades of purple, but it's just not my personal style. There's nothing wrong with the cardigan. It's just not the one for me. But the fabric, whatever this is made of, is like butter, y'all. Like, this feels so nice. And I actually don't think I own any cardigans with a three-quarter length sleeve. And I don't think I ever would, only because I feel like if I'm wearing a cardigan, like, I want the full sleeve. Like, I'm cold, I want the full sleeve kind of a thing. So, but again, that's a personal preference thing. Nothing against the cardigan itself. Um, it does have like the drawstring detail on it so you can kind of pull it and then just pull it back. I feel like that's a little strange especially because the drawstring doesn't go all the way around it kind of stops right there so I don't yeah I don't know that's not my, not my fave. I mean it does create like a kind of no it doesn't oh uh, wait wait well if you don't pull it all the way it kind of almost makes this look a little more cascading like but 
not a, not my favorite we'll be going back and then here is the sweater dress it is a beautiful color it's like a really nice emerald green but it has like that black stripe throughout and then it has like this really pretty almost chevroning kind of a detail at the top does have the three quarter length sleeves and then the cow neck and i don't know what material this is it's definitely not a sweater material it almost i don't even know what to call it it's a very different material but it's definitely a little more figure flattering in my opinion than like a normal sweater dress would be and i'm not sure if you guys can tell but it does hit me right above my knee and here is what it looks like in the back. It's actually very pretty. It's a little bit different for me. I'm not a huge sweater dress person because sometimes I feel like those aren't as flattering. But like I said, I feel like this material, whatever it is, is like a lot more figure flattering. And I love the color. I love like a good deep emerald green. So that is going to be it for my Dia & Co unboxing, guys. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know, do you want to see more of these style box type of videos? Um, it's been a minute since I've done a Stitch Fix unboxing. Um, I know there's Wantable. I know there's a few different ones. So comment down below and let me know if that's something you'd like to see more of. And I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Remedy, remedy, remedy. Baby, don't you know the story?